Night driving skills highlighted by Quentin Wilson and a sometimes hilarious and always entertaining Britain's worst driver at 8.30. Now get out of first gear with Brain Teaser. Welcome to Brain Teaser. It's the big Friday final, the part of the show where we have four contestants live in the studio, all hoping to face the pyramid by the end of it. And there's big shock news across the country today. Apparently, England are doing okay in the cricket. I know I had to double check as well. Also, we have, because it's Friday, upped the cash for you at home, all right? I'll tell you more on that very soon. There is more money for you to get your hands on live from your living rooms, and I'll explain more on that in a bit, but not before we've met our first two contestants. And the first one to play Bane Teaser is Robert. How are you doing? How are you doing, Craig? All right, thank you. So, uh, Robert, what do you do? I'm a London taxi driver, licensed London taxi driver. You're a cabbie. Indeed. I love the irony, though, because you told me, in complete secrecy, that you got lost on the way here. Yes. <laughs> mm, that's yes. irony. Cooking nicely. So who you had in the back of the cab then? Come on. Oh, I had uh, Gallagher Brothers from Oasis, Very uh, nice. Cheryl Baker from Bucks Fizz. Okay, uh, now give me the famous ones. Yeah, uh, Michael Portillo, Daniel Michael Norbar. Portillo. <laughs> do, but you also do an impression of Michael Portillo as well, don't you? Um, well, uh, sometimes I do. Was um, it nice when he got in the cab? Did you really hold back? Well, I had to stifle a laugh, I must admit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, humour, mm, mm. neglect. Yes. So, uh, I think, just quickly, we should do, because you do, do, do your Jagger for me quickly. I'll take my glasses off. You do, yeah. Do, do, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's only rock and roll, keep it, we like it. All right, well, let's do Bowie and Jagger for the show. I love music, David Bowie. Yeah. Well, well anyway, you do yours then, fair enough. Yeah. Robert, welcome to Brain Tease. You could do that throughout the show, <laughs> just to make me look funnier. And you're up against Melanie. How you doing, Melanie? Hi, Craig. Good, good. Welcome to the show. So, what do you do, Melanie? I'm a Spanish interpreter. Interpreter. Okay, so can you... You could stand in the corner of the screen here, next to me. I speak, you do Spanish. I could, in theory. Teach me... Hello, welcome to the show. I'm Craig. Hola, bienvenidos al programa. Me llamo Craig. Does anyone else think that sounds good? I think you know what I'm talking about. Okay, Robert, welcome. Melanie, good luck. You'll both be playing Brain Teaser very soon, but not before I've shown you the first puzzle of the day. Let's have a look at it. This is the one that could get you some cash, all right? Normally we go 250. It's Friday. Let's up it. Let's go 500 pounds. There's the puzzle coming up on the screen. And let's explain how it works. Okay, let's have a look at the top line. T, T-E-A. Now, the letters in T can be found in the word East. East should bring those down around the W. The W's at the top of the word, at the front of the word, so leave that there, but rearrange the other letters and come up with the word I need. Now, if you want to play and you'd like to be live on Brain Teaser right here with me, then call 090-11375555. Once you're connected, our computer will randomly select some callers to leave their details, and you never know, you can be playing for £500. Not bad to kick off Friday's show. It costs 50 pence every time you call, even if you're not selected to leave your details. But you can enter at the website of 5.tv forward slash brain teaser. Please ask permission if you're not paying the bill and remember to dial carefully. Okay, the puzzle's going to go any second now, so have a really good look at it. So tell me what the word is. Now, I might give you another chance to have a look at it later, and you never know, I might give you a clue as well. But first of all, let's get back to our first two contestants and let's play brain teaser. <laughs> OK, Robert and Melanie, the first round is a round called Scramble. What we've done, we've blown up a couple of words. What we want you to do is randomly put them back the way they're supposed to be this time, OK? So, the broken down words, put them back correctly. Robert and Melanie, if you're ready, let's play Scramble. First one in. Robert. Composition. Composition is right. There's the next one. What's the word? Melanie. Unbreakable. Unbreakable is good. Tell me the word, Melanie. Uh, no, sorry. No? OK, pass it to you, Robert. It's congealed. It is, mate. Yeah, you're right. Let's have a look at the next one. Melanie. Accountable. Accountable is good. What's the word? Melanie. Satellite. Satellite is right. Next one's coming in. Unscramble the word for me, Melanie. Meanwhile. Meanwhile is right. Melanie. Intimate. You're more than welcome to. If you carry on with that Spanish, I'll be more than happy to meet you after the show. Let's have a look at the next one first. 
Melanie. Redundancy. Yeah, which is something they've been trying to offer me for a while. I won't go. Let's have a look at the next word. Unscrambled. What's the word, Melanie? Privateer. Privateer is right. Well done. I see you just buzzing in behind there, Robert. See if you can get this one. Melanie. Um, sorry. No, it gets passed over to you, Robert. Eyewitness. Eyewitness is correct. Well done. Melanie. Mr. Mina. Mr. Mina is right. Is that what you're going to go with, Robert? Mm -hmm. Second behind buzzing, incredibly close. See if you can buzz in on this one. Melanie. Triviality. Triviality. She is just a second too quick on there, isn't she, Robert? Let's see if we can uh, buzz in on this one, though. Tell me what the word is. Melanie. Hopeless. Hopeless is right. This time on scramble, the word Melanie. Periwinkle. Periwinkle is right. Incredibly quick. Melanie. Breakfast. Breakfast. You are so, so quick there, Melanie. Just beating Robert. I see him going for the buzzer. But let's have a look at this one, Robert. You can do it. Melanie. Fluorescent. Fluorescent, yeah. She's just beating you to it there, Robert. It's very close. Get your hands by and just be ready for this one, Robert. You never know. Melanie. Calamity. We're going to check your buzzer, Robert, because I saw you go for that. And I'm not entirely sure, so we'll double check. But I think Melanie was very quick, though, so Calamity is right. So we'll give you the next one. Yep. Uh, Buzzer's not working on Robert, so we're going to just check your buzzer for you, Robert. Melanie, in the meantime, tell me the word anyway. Uh, elongate, sorry. Elongate is right, OK. Now, we'll give you the points, but we're going to sort the scores out in a moment, and we're going to have another look at those. But while we sort out the buzzers, it's broken down as the impressions. I'd probably kill a lot of people's yeah, careers, but now he's killed the buzzer as well. So let's show you the puzzle, though, for £500, OK? Let me tell you that puzzle again. OK, here it is. Top line, T, T-E-A. Second line is East. Third line has a W at the beginning. OK, so bring those letters down in the word East around the W and come up with the word that I'm looking for. That's what you have to do if you want to play for £500. Now, the number you need to call if you want to get in touch with me is 090 1137 Now, once you're connected, our computers will randomly select some callers to leave their details. And you never know, it could be you talking to me on the show. OK, how about a clue? Rubbish. Rubbish. Think of my impressions. Rubbish, yes. Yeah. OK, if you want the chance to solve it, be on the show with me. 090 1137 could get you through to me. What do you do with that £500? Now, we normally start on 250 We've upped it. And if you want to play for it, you need to be getting on the line to me. And I'd like to be talking to you live on 5. Once you are connected, our computers will randomly select some callers to leave their details. And you could be playing for the cash. It costs 50 pence every time you call, even if you're not selected to leave your details. Or you can enter at 5.tv forward slash. Brain teaser. Okay, then I think we sorted out the scores, so we're going to get back to our contestants, and we've upped Robert's score due to the buzzers uh, not going in that second part. Melanie, your buzzers did go before Robert, so you keep your score. We have upped yours, though, Robert, because there was a couple of chances the last three. So we've given you to 30, but we've left Melanie on 75. So we're going to play the next round. So it's still all to play for in this round, OK? All right, so let's play Crossfire. We're going to bring up the crossword on the screen. Melanie, you're in the lead. So let's get the computer to pick the first number for you. OK, computer's gone for number five for you. This TV presenter had his share of weird weekends. What's his first name? Louis. Louis. Louis Theroux, yeah. Did documentaries with the Hamiltons and Paul Daniels, amongst others. Melanie, pick a line. Uh, eight, please. Number eight for you. This term means freedom and national independence, especially from, say, uh, from slavery. Do it. Starts with a U. I'll do it again for you. This term means freedom and national independence, especially from slavery. The question gets passed over to you, Robert. I'll go for unity. It's not right. It's Yahuru is what we wanted. You've got control again, though, Robert, so pick okay. a line. I'll go for number seven. Number seven. What is the surname of the poet who is celebrated every January the 25th? Burns. Burns, yeah. Burns is celebrated on the 25th. Yep. So, Robert, uh, pick a line. Number four, please. Number four for you. The most common of the North American Wapiti. Can you repeat that again? The, yeah, the most common name for the North American Wapiti. Elk. Elk is right, yep, well done. Okay, got control, where would uh, you like to go? Number nine, please. Number nine. 
the abbreviated code by which all books are categorised. ISBN. ISBN, the International Standard Book Number. Well done, Robert. OK, where on the board do you want to go? Number 10, please. Number 10. This country is made up of nine islands in the South Pacific. Samoa. Samoa is right. Doing really, really well. OK, plenty to choose from in the style of Michael Portillo, pick a number. Oh, I think I'll go for number three, please. Uh, nice. Craig. Nice. In the 2002 film The Bourne Identity, what is Matt Damon's character Jason Bourne suffering from? Amnesia. Amnesia is right, yeah. Wow. Cleaning up the board then, Robert, where would you like to go? Number six, please. Number six for you. This British runner broke three world records for a mile, the 1500 metres and the 2000 metres within 19 days in 1985. I'm looking for his surname. Cram. Cram is right, Steve Cram. Well done. OK, one or two? Number two, please. Number two for you. The central court or hallway in an ancient Roman house. The central court or hallway in an ancient Roman house. We get passed over to you, Melanie. Atrium. Atrium is right, and atrium is also uh, one of the two upper cavities of the heart. Number one for you then, Melanie. OK, here we go. This choreographer, known as the mother of American dance, is renowned for her structure and angular dance movements. No, no idea. Any ideas? We'll pass it over to you, Robert. Well, I was going to say is Isadora, but it doesn't fit. You're right, it doesn't. <laughs> it's Martha. That's what we were looking for, Martha Graham. So let's have a look at the scores and who's going through. What an incredibly close round. Robert, you've got 90 points. Melanie, you're in the lead with 95. <laughs> the shock on her face. Robert, well done. Well done. You came back incredibly, incredibly well. Never mind. Um, thank you very much for playing. Uh, okay. If I'm ever in the back of your cab, will you list me in the top five sure. most famous people? Yeah. Can you remember my name? Yeah, Craig Stevens. <laughs> it's always good when you rehearse first, isn't it? Yeah. Robert, thanks for playing. You did incredibly well. well. But, Melanie, well done. Thank you. You're going to be in the C into the semi-final. You can relax again now. <laughs> if you, if you want to get past me, though, just do Spanish. OK, I'll try and now remember listen, that. Good luck, Melanie. We'll Thank find you. out how you get on in the semi-final. But before we do, let me remind you of the puzzle for £500. Let's have a good look at it. OK, there it is on the screen. Top line is T, second is East. But what's the third line? Now, we've removed the double, uh, let, removed the letters, but we left you the W. The W's in the right place. So what you need to do is tell me the word that I'm looking for. Now, if you want to play and you'd like to be on five right here with me, then call 90 5555 And it could be you talking to me to play for five hundred pounds okay now there's only one minute left for you to call if you want to play all right so the time is ticking away if you want to have a go at this so what's the third line down if you want to have a go call me could be you on the show or you can enter at five.tv forward slash brain teaser so have a good look at the puzzle if you need some help grab someone around the telly and come up with the word that i need that's what you have to do have a good look at the second line those letters need to be brought down rearranged jumbled up however you think you want to do it and put them next to the W. OK, I could be talking to you very soon, but after the break, we are going to meet another two contestants. Hopefully one of them in the Big Friday final will be joining Melanie in the semi-final. We'll see you after this for more Brain Teaser. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Brain Teaser. So there are another two contestants who are about to battle it out and hope to be in that big semi-final. First one is you, Peter. Hi. Hi, Craig. How you doing? Fine, thanks. So tell me what you do for a living, Peter. I'm a retired IT coordinator. OK, and now tell me what you do for fun. I umpire ladies hockey. You umpire ladies hockey? Yeah. Now, you could have chosen men's hockey, Peter. No, you no. You could have chosen that. No, the women are much more interesting. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So is it a tough job to get? No, not e not difficult. What do I need to put on my CV? Um, you enjoy sport, basically. I enjoy women's hockey. That's yeah. uh, to, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I think it's more to the point. Peter, so um, you love that. You've seen Les Miserables 15 times. Indeed, yes. Now, you know, I've seen it a couple of times, but once is probably enough. You know the story now, right? Yeah, I know the story, but it's still is so brilliant to watch. It's like people who watch Titanic hundreds and hundreds of times. They still do it. Yeah. I like to watch it backwards. They live. It's great. Yeah. Graham. Welcome hello, to Brain Craig. Teaser. Yeah, hello, mate. How hello. you doing? Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, where are you from, Graham? I'm from Radio in Surrey. For, okay, yeah. and uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a postman. You're a postman. Yeah, yeah. Now, you need to explain to me the difference between first and second class post. Uh, there is no difference, apart from it takes an extra week or so. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to wish Graham all the best with his career. <laughs> and, uh, 
I always thought like first class gets like extra seat no. in the van or something. Do you first, know what I mean? Gets to watch class, the in-flight movie. First class is like spot on all the time. Right, yeah, we, of do, course. we do a great job. Go yeah, good recovery, Graham, but I think <laughs> the damage has been done, my friend. All right, well, listen, you're up against Peter Graham. I wish you all both the best of luck. We'll find out how you get on very soon, but not before we speak to someone else. Hi, who's on the line? Oh, hi, it's Ruth here from London. How you doing, Ruth? Fine, thank you. Good, you? good, good. Not bad at all, Ruth. It's Friday, and I think they're going to give me the weekend off. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not. Well, oh. it's worth a try. Well, Ruth, should we have a look at the puzzle? Yes, please. Okay, let's bring it up on the screen for you, Ruth. How's your day been so far? Very good. Very except good. Except for the weather. Oh, okay. Do you think we can make it better? Hopefully, hopefully. All right. Now, hopefully, Ruth, what you've done is brought down the letters in the word East around the W. So, for the first prize of the day, the first £500, what's the word I need? Waste. Is the right answer. <laughs> yes! There you go. That's Something brilliant. Most of my gags are. So, uh, what are you going to do with your £500? Well, my husband will be 40 soon, so it'll go towards his present. Fantastic. Lovely. W Lovely. What's your husband's name? Alex. Alex. Will Alex be really, really pleased to know hey. that the whole nation now knows he's 40 very soon? <laughs> He'd be ecstatic that I've won the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, that could work. Listen, well done, Ruth. Thanks very much. Well, there you go. First winner of the day. Let's see if we can get another one then. So let's up the cash and let's see how you guys get on at home for £750. Let's have a look at the puzzle for it. OK, here it is. It works exactly the same way as the last one did. And hopefully you could do what Ruth did and get on the show and get yourself some more money, all right? Play for this for £750. So let me explain how it works. The top line, bet. Second line is beat. Letters in bet can be found in beat. The letters in the second line, beat, can be found in bleat, and so on and so forth. Now, I've left you the letter T. That's in the right place. So bring down the letters in the word bleat around that T and tell me the word I need. And it could be you talking to me live right here on Brain Teaser. It costs 50 pence every time you call, but the number you need to call is 90 11 Once you're connected, our computer will randomly select some callers to leave their details, and I could be talking to you soon, and you could play for 750 pounds. It does cost 50 pence every time you call, even if you're not selected to leave your details. But you can enter at the website of 5.tv forward slash Brain Teaser. Have a really good look at the puzzle make sure you bring those letters down in the word bleat around the t and if you want to play pick up the phone call me and i could be talking to you soon okay the puzzle's going to go any second now so i think it's time that we move on and we find out how these guys get on with the first round of brain teaser okay peter and graham this is a round called scramble okay saw it in the first part of the show so what we've done got a word broken it down you have to put it back the way it's supposed to be if you're both ready let's play scramble here comes the first one. Tell me the word. Peter. Masonry. It's not right. We're going to pass it to you, Graham. Just got in there before the buzzer, Peter. Any ideas? No. No. Rosemary. Rosemary. That's the first one that we were looking for. Still early days. First one. So let's bring in the second and see how you get on with this. Peter. Resourceful. It's not right. We'll pass it to you, Graham. Forceful. Forceful is right. Well weighted. Here's the next one. Can you see the word? Unscramble it if you can. No, out of time. Outbreak. Outbreak was the word we wanted. We're going to take another word now, and we've scrambled it up. Undo it. Tell me what it should be. Peter. Auditorium. Auditorium is right. You spent too long in them, haven't you? Yes. What's your name, Miserable? <laughs> Let's have a look at the next one. Peter. Program. Program is right. There's the next one. What is it? Graham. Oh, no, sorry. No, I'll pass it to you, Peter. Decoration. Decoration is right. Let's have a look at this one. You can unscramble it, buzz in as soon as you can. Peter. Unsuitable. Unsuitable is right, yes. There's the next word. What is the one I'm looking for? Graham. Extinguish. Extinguish is right. Have a look at the next one. Peter. Muscular. Thanks for noticing our workout. <laughs> Let's have a look at the next word. Graham. Advertisement. Is the right answer. Well done. Next one's coming in. If you can unscramble it, tell me the word. Graham. Compartment. Compartment is right. Just before the buzzer as well. Well buzzed in. 
Graham. No dictation. Whoops. No, I don't think it's quite right, Peter. Indication. Indication is the right answer. Really close scoring as well between you two guys. There's the next one. Graham. Messenger. Messenger is right, yep. I'm going to bring up the next one. What's the word? Peter. Trombone. Trombone is right. OK, let's have a look at the scores at the end of that round. Quite a close round as well. Graham's on 25 in the lead, though. Peter on 35. So, while these guys have a breather or fight or, or get to know each other better, whatever they want to do, I'm going to show you at home the puzzle for £750. And here it is. OK, what you have to do is bring down the letters in the word bleat. Bring those down, mix them up, jumble them around a bit, but tell me the word I need. You need to bring those letters down around the letter T. Leave the T where it is and tell me the word. If you do want to play, have a think about this clue. It might help you. Combat. Combat. That's the word. But what is the word that needs to go in there? I've given you the clue, combat. Tell me the word. And if you want to play and you'd like to be right here on five, call the number 090 3755 It could be you talking to me for the big Friday final very, very soon. OK, the puzzle's going to be off then, and our contestants will find out which one goes through. We're going to play the deciding round, and this is for the semi-final for Brain Teaser. <laughs> Peter and Graham, this is Crossfight. Sorry, in the first part of the show, we're going to bring a crossword up on the screen. Now, Peter, you're in the lead, so you'll get to go first. So let's let the computer bring Crossfire up and pick the first number. OK, it's gone for number two for you. She shares the, uh, the record in women's cricket of a first opening stand of 200 runs. I'm looking for a surname, Peter. She shares the record in women's cricket of a first Blint. opening stand of 200 <laughs> runs. It's not right. Graham. Davies. No, Atkins is what we were looking for. Caroline Atkins. Graham, you've got control of the game now. I know six. Number six for you then. A large round wicker, uh, wicker work basket which is used as a beehive. A skip. It's not quite right. We're going to pass it back to you, Peter. Skipped. Is it again not quite right? It's skip. Skip is what we wanted. <laughs> Peter, you have control of the game. Both worth a guess, though, wasn't it? OK, Peter, give me a number. Number three. Number three for you. This Shakespearean character went mad soon after Hamlet killed her father. Ophelia. Ophelia is right. Well done. Pick another number for me, Peter. Number one. Number one. These two American states share the same name. Georgia. It's not right. We'll pass it to you, Graham. These two states share the same name. Alabama. Again, not quite right. Dakota, both north and south.